Hello love bug and welcome. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're doing so great. I'm going to be showing you today a beautiful Jane Austen inspired crochet shawl. I'm also going to be showing you how to work the special spike stitches that you'll find in this pattern, how to change colors in your crochet, and how to work the border of this shawl. This stunning wrap was designed for you by Jane Vincellis and it's called Pemberley, which is the home of Mr. Darcy in Pride and Prejudice. I love, I love you. I never wish to be parted from you from this day on. I think it would just make the most amazing shawl for wrapping around your shoulders as you're going through a misty morning stroll on the Pemberley estate grounds. This semi-circular shawl design features alternating colors here throughout the body and then it finishes with this beautiful and easy border design. Another cool thing about this pattern is it features spike stitches which I'll be demonstrating in a minute and that helps to blend the rows together. We chose to use colors that are very soft and muted and very similar to each other and that creates a very heathered overall calming look. I really love how flowy and floaty and drapey this shawl is and the reason for that is because we chose to use sport weight yarn. We opted for our shimmering hand dyed luster sport weight yarn for this shawl in three different colors and all the information for that as well as the pdf version of this pattern are going to be in the description box below for you. And if you love to knit while you're there go ahead and check out our Mila knitted shawl pattern which is the knit version of this Pemberley crochet shawl. So as I was saying you are going to Need to know how to work some special spike stitches for this pattern so let's go ahead and jump into that to work an e d c spike which is an extended double crochet spike you're going to start with the yarn over and instead of working into the next stitch like you normally would you're actually going to drop down one row below so instead of here you're going to go one row below insert your hook and go ahead and pull up a loop now you're going to yarn over and pull through one loop only. Now you're going to finish off like you would a normal double crochet by working a yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And so you can see how it dips down a little bit. Now when you get to the part in the pattern that says to work a spike cluster, it's simply three of these into one stitch. So I'll show you what that looks like. Yarn over, and instead of working into the next stitch, go ahead and drop down a row and work into the stitch below and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through one. And then yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Now work two more into that same stitch to form your cluster. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two. And one more time, yarn over, insert into that same stitch again and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through one loop only. Now yarn over, pull through two. And one final time, yarn over, pull through two. And that is your little spike cluster. Now, if the pattern asks you to work an ESC spike, that's an extended single crochet spike. So you insert your hook, instead of the next stitch, you're gonna drop down to the row below and go ahead and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through one loop only. And then yarn over and pull through two loops. And that is an extended single crochet spike. Another thing you're gonna to need to do in this pattern is alternate colors. So let me show you how easy it is to change colors in your crochet. So this pattern calls for alternating colors every two rows, and here's what I like to do. When you've worked your rows and you're ready to change colors, before you get to your final stitch, so I'm gonna work a single crochet, before you pull your yarn through that final time, go ahead and pick up your next color and finish off that row. So I'm finishing off my pink row with the blue and you can see it creates a perfect smooth little finish that actually finishes with the pink. And now you're ready to work with the blue. Now go ahead and work your rows as written with your second color. When you come to almost the end of your two rows in that second color, we're gonna do the same thing we did before. 
Go ahead and start to work your last stitch, whatever that may be, but before you finish that last stitch, drop that second color and go ahead and pick your first color up again. And you want to just loosely pull it up the side of your work. And then finish off the final stitch of that second color with your new color. So you're all set and ready to work your next row with your new color, but this row has finished off perfectly with the blue. Then you're just gonna continue on in that manner, working your next rows, next two rows with this color, pulling this color up to side, etc. And then you won't have a bunch of ends to weave in later. And you'll just continue on in that manner. This is a great technique to use when you're alternating colors every few rows so that you don't end up with a bunch of ends to weave in later. As I said, I'm gonna be showing you how to work the border of this shawl and it is easier than you think because it just uses basic stitches. There are five rows to this border and the first row just calls for you to work single crochets. So I've worked a small swatch today to get started on that. So let's go ahead and jump into the second row of the border, which is row 101. Okay, to begin this row, you're gonna start with a chain three, which does count as a double crochet. Now you're gonna skip the very first single crochet and work a double crochet into each of the next two stitches. There's one and two. So you've skipped that first one and you've worked into each of the next two stitches. Now you're gonna chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and you're gonna skip three stitches and work a double crochet into each of the next three. Skip, 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 double crochet into each of the next three stitches. There's one and two and three. Now you're gonna work a double crochet into each of the next two stitches, one and two, and you're gonna chain five again. One, two, three, four, five, and this just continues to re repeat across your row. Skip, 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 one double crochet into each of the next three double crochets. And you'll continue repeating that across your row until you reach the end. Stitch and one final one. Boop, boop. Now we're gonna go ahead and work the third row of this border, which is row 102 in the pattern. Okay, we're gonna start with a chain one, and then we're gonna work one single crochet into the first double crochet. Now you're gonna skip the next two double crochets and work four double crochets, chain two, four double crochets in that chain five space. So there's one, two, three, and four. Now you're gonna chain two, one, two, and work four more double crochets all into that same chain five space. So there's two, three, and four. Now you're gonna skip two double crochets, skip, skip, and you're gonna single crochet into the next double crochet. Next, you're gonna skip two double crochets and continue repeating that across your row. Skip, skip. Now you're gonna work four double crochets, chain two, four double crochets into that next chain five space. There's one double crochet. And you can see these are just all very basic stitches. It's a truly lovely, lovely border once you are all finished, but only you will know that it was actually super easy to do. So we've got our four double crochets, our chain two, and now I'm working the second set of the, the four double crochets into that chain five space. So there's three, four, and when you get to the end, you're gonna skip those two double crochets and work a single crochet into that final double crochet, which is actually the chain three. Okay, let's go ahead and move along to the fourth row of the border, which is row 103 in the pattern. Now we're gonna start with a chain three, and that does count as a double crochet. Now, you're gonna double crochet into the first double crochet, which is right here. Then you're gonna work a chain one. Now you're gonna skip a double crochet, so skip this one, 
and go ahead and double crochet into the next stitch chain one skip the next double crochet so skip that one and you're going to work double crochet chain two double crochet into that chain two space so let's do that double crochet chain two double crochet all into that chain two space now you're going to go ahead and chain one and skip a double crochet so skip this one and you're going to work a double crochet into the next one now you're going to chain one and you're going to work a double crochet two together over these two double crochets here so start your double crochet but don't finish it go ahead and start your next double crochet here and then when you have three loops on your hook you're going to yarn over pull through all three and you've just now worked a double crochet two together so we're going to continue repeating that across our row chain one skip one double crochet double crochet into the next one chain one skip one double crochet and work double crochet chain two double crochet into the chain space now we're going to chain one skip a double crochet double crochet in the next one chain one skip a double crochet so skip that one and double crochet in the next one now you're going to double crochet in the single crochet and you have finished up that row okay we're going to go ahead and finish off our shawl by working the fifth row of the border which is shown as row 104 in the pattern for you we're going to start this row with a chain two and you're going to work a single crochet in the chain space chain two do that again single crochet in the next chain space chain two now in this chain two space here you're going to work single crochet chain four three four single crochet so that was all into that chain two space and it makes a little pico thing right there now you're going to work chain two single crochet in the next chain space and do that again chain two single crochet in the next chain space so we're just going to continue working that across our row single crochet in the next chain space chain two single crochet in the next chain space chain two in the chain two space you work single crochet chain two three four and single crochet to make your little pico so cute then you're going to work single crochet or i'm sorry chain two single crochet in the next chain space chain two single crochet in the next chain space and then chain two working a single crochet into your final stitch and you are finished so I hope you enjoyed learning these new techniques today and that you absolutely love this shawl design as much as we do. I hope you have a marvelous day today. Remember to stay positive because your positivity is going to spill out onto others because when you uplift yourself, you help to uplift others. Enjoy this precious gift of a day and I'm going to see you next time. Bye-bye!